Greetings, America. My name is Julie Chen, and this is the finale of Big Brother Columbus season two. We began seven weeks ago with 11 house guests competing to be named the winner. After eight heart-stopping evictions, we are now down to the final three, Adam, Larry, and Matt. Each has masterfully navigated the summer of ancient secrets, but who has won the hearts and votes of the evicted jurors? But first, the game began much more innocently, with the house united by the shocking twist that a saboteur lived among them. The house guests failed to unmask Jen, however, and Dennis H. was the first evicted in back-to-back -back votes. Power continued to consolidate as the house guests entered day two. The pieces of the Yazgod artifact gave Trent, Mark, and then Matt bargaining power in the game. With Larry's consistent competition wins and a surprise double eviction following week four, pawn after pawn was evicted from the house. Dennis H, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Mark, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Zach, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Dennis, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Bobby, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Until in week six, with only five house guests remaining, it was time for the wolf pack to turn on each other. Larry won HOH, his third reign, and Matt stunned the house by winning a pivotal veto. Anthony fell victim to the surprise alliance of Matt and Trent and was evicted by a two to zero vote. That left Adam, his stalwart ally, to fend for himself in the final four. Fate would see him win his second overnight HOH. But after Matt won an all-important veto, any chance to break he and Larry apart disappeared, and Trent was evicted by Matt's lone vote. And now, the last three house guests will face the perils of the final three-part HOH competition. Who will win out? Will it be Larry, a BB Cole record-breaking winner of five competitions, who sided with the power early in the game, and whose win secured him weekly safety? Will it be Adam? a shrewd game player that used his first HOH to secure a loyal alliance, and whose matter-of-fact social game discouraged any double crosses. Or will it be Matt, the social butterfly that once held two pieces of the Yazgod artifact, whose late competition wins have created a wave of momentum. For one last time, America, the power is up for grabs. Discover the identity of the last HOH and our jury voted winner because this is Big Brother. At this point, Matt and I have agreement to be in the top two. If Matt wins or I win the final HOH competition, we are going to, bar none, hands down, bring one, each other there. I haven't backstabbed anyone. I haven't really gone back on my word on anything. I haven't lied about anything. I haven't done anything to really mess anyone's game up. But me... I didn't win competitions, but I also have only been on the block once, so obviously I was doing something right while letting everyone else take each other out. It wasn't laziness. I didn't have any power, but I made my situation work for me. All right, house guests, here's how the game works.
This competition begins now. So right now, <clears throat> what's presented in front of me is a bucket, and we have to throw our ball into the bucket. <laughs> yes! Once we make it, we run back, and we are provided with a bag of words that we need to decode. And we have five words, so we have to make the ball and get five separate bags, decode those words separately, and then use those five words to form a sentence. This competition is awful. I am not making any of these balls into that bucket. Not a one. I'm pretty sure I've seen Matt and or Larry make one or two trips back in after making their balls. I don't have to unscramble my words right now. So at this point, I'm just trying to make my baskets and I'm hoping that I can just unscramble these words later. Good job. Congratulations, Matt. You are the winner of the first part of the household competition. Part. Place your unscrambled phrase here. And Matt has had place your unscrambled shaper here for about 20 minutes. <laughs> oh my god, I have Harper. So it obviously does not take a bunch of comp wins to make it to the end as long as you can build relationships in this house and that works for you and as long as it's not you going home, then I say it's fair game. I guess I'm not surprised that I didn't win this competition. I needed to win this competition. I still have another chance. I'm feeling very defeated right now. With that in mind though, the pressure is on for me to win the next 808 challenge. And if I know anything about this, it's going to be more mental than it is physical. Hello, house guest. Hi, Julie. And, oh, actually, I'm Zach. I'm returning Hi. from season one, oh, Big Brother. Oh. Yes, I was voted America's favorite, so I wanted yes. to stop by. I was asked by production to host a little challenge, bring a little sunshine in your lives during these stressful final competitions. This comp is called Before and After. First and foremost, I will need you two to turn your chairs backs together 
in face opposite wall. Board ready? Music, please. <clears throat> All right, house guests. First question: Did Dennis Novak cast his third vote to evict before or after Larry won his fourth competition? I need your answers. And reveal on three, two, one. The correct answer was before. Second question. Was the 30th vote cast to evict before or after the double eviction week began? Please write your answers and reveal in three, two, one. The correct answer was after. Third question. Was a tiebreaker question used to determine head of household before or after Anthony came in next to last place in a veto competition. I'll need your answers. Three, two, one, reveal. The correct answer was before. Fourth question. <clears throat> Did a piece of the Yaz God artifact transfer ownership before or after only eight house guests competed in an HOH competition. Need your answers? Reveal in three, two, one. The correct answer was after. Next question. In the Revenge of the Saboteur competition, was Zach Braithwaite holding the veto prize before or after Bobby picked his prize? Need your answers in three, two, one. Reveal. The correct answer was after. In her eviction ceremony greetings to the house guests, did Julie say the house guests were like predators circling their prey before or after she said a dark horse may be rising. I'll need your answers in three, two, one, reveal. The correct answer was after. Seventh question. During the most likely to be HOH competition, was Mark eliminated from the game before or after Jen was voted the most likely to ask to speak to the manager? I will need your answers in three, two, one, reveal. The correct answer was before. Final question. The power of veto was not used for the third time before or after Zach was nominated for eviction for the third time. I'll need your answers in three, two, one. The correct answer was after. Okay, and with that, let me just take a moment to tally the scores. <laughs> All right, house guests, we have a winner. Congratulations, Larry, you have won the second part of the final. Woo! All right, well, with that. Yes! This was a good win. Um, for me morally and I just think for the jury to see that I'm not winning just fluffy cake challenges like this challenge was a difficult challenge I think and I think I earned this win. This is the third part of the final HOH competition.
Question one. Did Dennis say he wished he would have trusted A, Zach Moore, or B, Bobby Moore? Answers, please. The person that I wish I would have trusted more in the game was Zach, but it was really hard to tell sometimes when every time he would have a conversation with me, he'd be like, I know things, I hear things, I know a lot of stuff, but I didn't know if he was saying that for real or if he was just being a jackass. <laughs> Neither of you got that right. Question number two. What did Bellino say his favorite veto competition was? A. Otev or B. Kitty Litter Word Scramble? You ready? How's you guys need an answer? My favorite veto competition was Otev because that host was super dreamy. <laughs> <laughs> Points. Woo! Question number three. What did Bobby say his biggest regret in the game was? A. Falling down the stairs Friday night. <laughs> or B. Not playing a more aggressive social game. Answers, please. My biggest regret in the game is not playing a better, more aggressive social game. <laughs> Question number four. What did Zach say his favorite guest host was? A is Blase, B is last year's winner, Aaron Fancy. My favorite guest competition host was last year's Big Brother winner, Aaron Fancy. Question five. What did Mark say the most surprising moment of the game was? A, the Saboteur reveal, or B, the Stevie Nicks reveal? Answers, please. My favorite, most surprising moment of the Big Brother competition was the reveal of the Saboteur. Definitely. <laughs> you each get a point? Yes! There is one question. What did Trent say his biggest regret of the game was? Not putting Matt up for eviction, or not putting Larry up for eviction? <laughs> Am I A? A for Matt, B for Larry. My biggest regret in the game is not putting Matt up for eviction. All right, house guests, I believe we have a tie. Two points each. Please keep your whiteboard. All right, house guests, it's time for the tiebreaker. As a reminder, you will each guess a number. The person who is closest to that number without going over will win and become the final HOH. Between all 11 house guests who played the game, what is the total sum of their siblings? <laughs> House guests, please reveal your answer. Larry says 13, Matt says 15. Congratulations to our final head of household, Matt. 19 siblings between everybody. My first HOH is the last HOH. I am so happy and proud of myself. I get to pick who I pummel in the final two. Um, I have final two deals with both of them, so somebody's gonna go join the jury a little bit angry. Put on the Joker! <laughs> and I had my opportunity to win these competitions. I had a chance just like everyone else and I messed up and I didn't get it. At this point, I already know that I'm probably not gonna get picked. I should be sending Larry to the jury, but I'm not going to. Um, 
I owe it to him for getting me through the first half of this competition with keeping me off the block. So I think he at least deserves a shot at that. And Adam, I'm sorry, I I just can't take you. It's nothing personal, but I have to take Larry. Uh, this decision is super tough for me because I do have to pretty soon um, rake one of you through the coal so I can get to the top. Mm -hmm. And um, it's not going to get any easier, but um, I have to keep Larry out of this right now. Congratulations, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I'm happy that you played the game that was going to get you to win. I think, I don't blame you for picking Larry. I still think of you as a brother, regardless of your shade. I'm not mad. I'm, I'm happy that I got to do this. It does really suck to come so far and just know that you can't get there. Eight weeks plus double eviction that Larry but Like Like we kind of said, a lot of those earlier ones were a lot of luck based. But does that really matter? It's still it a win. Matter. It's still a lot a of win. them, I mean, this it doesn't matter. In my opinion, at least, I think skill is where it comes into actual real play. But if you want to talk win. about, if you want to talk about winning and winning as a form of skill versus luck, I think skill is way more important than luck. But a win gets you. I don't think you're understanding the skill that Larry played. No, I no, I'm not doubting Larry, Larry's skill at all. So you're saying that the skill that Matt played in the past hour was so much greater than. That Larry because they were more skill-based games, and they got him guaranteed. I mean, that's what you're saying. They got him guaranteed to the end. No, it is what I'm saying. And no one's discrediting that those wins weren't important. And right. that he, they it definitely was got him roll to him being yes. in the top two. Yeah. For sure. Welcome, house guests. It's week nine in the finale of Big Brother. Congratulations on making it to this point. Y'all. You're fantastic, guys. Thank you so much for playing. So. It is the finale. Our final two are Larry, the competition beast, won a record-setting six competitions for Big Brother Columbus. They're out of variety ways in the competition. And we have Matt, very social game player who clinched four uh, essential competitions at the very end in a competition. Row. In a row. Correct. <laughs> the question towards you is, those games that you won in the beginning were supposed to be more luck based. Do you feel like that kind of feel like Matt is more deserving of a win versus you with those kind of skill based games and winning those and clinching those in the end versus your skill based or your luck based games wins for the Julies? Or I mean, what's your kind of opinion on that? Is basically what I'm trying to get. Well, well, I will say about the earlier challenges is that. And the later challenges that he won, we're pretty much just sticking out, and if you win, like, you're in. With the earlier challenges that I was winning, I had the task of kind of making first blood. I was putting people up on the block, whereas Matt, it was later in the game, and we, it was more of just everyone for himself, so it wasn't as personal, where I had to kind of set the tone of the game. So where the actual competition might have been easier, the strategy behind it, I think, was diff more difficult. Okay, um, my question's for Matt, but I just was wanting to know what your thoughts on, what your thoughts were on social game versus like physicality and the challenges. Like, what do you think is more important? I think I kind of, I never sat out of a, a vote until I couldn't vote for you and that was the only vote I didn't cast and I honestly did kind of send all of you home, whether that makes you mad or not or respect me or not, like, I don't know, but I did have... I did know who was going home every week. If you can wrangle up some votes, that's much more important than 
getting an HOH, putting some people up, making some people mad, and getting another target rather than if I could get a unanimous vote, then you can't be mad at just me. The first vote, casted by Mark, is for Matt. That's right. The second vote, cast by Zach, is for Larry. So far we have one vote Matt, one vote Larry. Thanks, Zach. The third vote, cast by Dennis Novak, for Matt. Yeah. The fourth vote, cast by Bobby, is for Larry. The fifth vote, cast by Anthony, is for Larry. The sixth vote, cast by Trent, is for the winner of Big Brother Columbus, Larry. Yes, God, it's over. I won. I won Big Brother Season 2. Yes, God. Thank you, America, so much for watching, so much for your support. Um, this has been an experience of a lifetime.